guys, what's up everyone? Welcome to Young Titan World. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Today we're going to be talking about The Hunger Games. The latest addition to the absolutely mesmerizing uh, franchise. Which, you know, used to circulate around Katniss Everdeen and the fact that she didn't really like the old guy with the white beard. Uh, we're going to be talking about the... Ballad of songbirds and snakes and I got to tell you just before we start everything it was an absolute Banger it was absolutely just perfect in every way especially the song. I'm a sucker for music So honestly anything that has music just gets me on a whole new level. So it, it was really great uh, just for everyone out there that hasn't touched the movie yet, please go watch it. I know I watched it at the expense of not having the really greatest quality and my greatest nightmare, not having subtitles, especially English ones. And so it was a little bit devastating and I'm pretty sure I did not get most of the conversations that were going on, but the action was real and I felt it to my core, especially the singing, most especially the singing. It was so amazing, absolutely great, amazing, amazing. So let's start. Now, before we get into anything, maybe we also have to be perfectly honest with every single thing that we're doing right now. In order for you to appreciate the movie, and I mean really appreciate the movie that is The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, you need to watch the previous ones. Because honestly, apart from the fact that he was called Snow, and the fact that, you know, he had blue eyes. I had no idea what was going on. I mean, if I had watched the previous ones, I would probably be like, Oh my god, I know this one. This probably was an ancestor of one in the other movie. Oh my god. So, I guess there was a problem on my part. And probably getting that kind of understanding of the whole ecosystem. You know, the one that is old, but the one that is still... That, that tells the story of the Hunger Games. So let's just get into it. But just keep in mind, if you want to enjoy the movie more, much like how Marvel has you watching multiple movies in order to understand the one that comes out recently, you're going to have to do the same thing for this one as well. At least so that it makes you more immersed into the storytelling, all right? Now, let's get into it. So the Battle of the Songbirds is pretty much the first time that we get to see uh, Carolyn's Car Car something snow. I mean, his, his name just sounds more like my friend's name, and my friend's name is kind of con confusing, honestly. But she's great, and he's great as well. So, amazing actors all around. It starts with us finding out that snow is just like every regular person who is in the capital, and uh, he's also like in this really absolute, um pompously high up a uh, university that is actually involved in the hunger games in the sense that they're there they add the mentors and like the mentors get to organize and uh i don't know motivate inspire their uh their equals no they're lowers they're slaves quote unquote slaves at least we understand the reason the Hunger Games exist in the first place. Because the districts that existed before had planned uprisings that failed. So to remind them um, of why they should never do that again, they, they, they do the games. Okay, So the the, all the districts can learn their lessons every single time. Which is mm, kind of like a repetitive punishment. And I don't know how that really gets children to become better people. But, hey, man, um, it's it's a story that they were telling. So, um, they select their people. And the last one, uh, I don't even know which one Katniss was on. But I'm assuming she was in 12 because they really made a big deal out of 12. In the previous one where she said, I offer myself as tribute. Uh, this one comes with a girl who's got really flashy clothes, apparently from her mother, and uh, she, you know, she puts a snake in another lady's dress, and she walks into the front line, gets punched by a guy, so I guess in that sense, 
she also makes a very dramatic um, intro for herself as well. And she sings. She sings very well, actually. So well that it captures the eyes of spectators. Now, apparently, the Hunger Games were made, you know, as a punishment for the districts. But in order for it to be kept rolling, it needs to be sponsored. Pretty much like how you're a streamer. In order for you to be a really great streamer, a lot of people are supposed to back you up. Not in terms of the subscriptions, but as well as companies that are interested in you promoting your content and as well promoting theirs. So, you know, you see where I'm going with this? I was going to like put in the plug in by saying go subscribe to my Twitch channel. <laughs> but that seems a little too cheesy, isn't it? But let's just get back to the movie because that's what we're here for. So we realize that everything is not the same as it was. At least it's not the same in the past because things um, are a little different. Uh, according to what I learned from that movie, in the previous one, they didn't really associate themselves with those who came from the districts. They would push themselves apart like, you know, like how they kept prisoners or uh, jail people what like <laughs> i am really trying my possible best to put the words together but just the way as they would um single out slaves or black people from having the same kind of urinals and stuff like that basically the same thing so they put them in a zoo just put them up for show and uh sooner or later there comes that time where they have to put them in the ring the arena which also to my surprise was not a gigantic dome but you know just a really big hall where they put them uh there so that they can i don't know uh fight each other to the death there were no scary animals although i think they were working on that so it wasn't necessarily perfected and they had an uncomfortable number of snakes now, the point is, the fact is, I got to see Viola Davis with, um, you know, a, a plastic eye, no, a blue eye, which was definitely contact lenses. But it was really great and amazing. I was actually stoked when I got to see her as the crazy black lady who was controlling everything. It was really mesmerizing, and I just really loved it. Um, we got to see a lot of the characters, most of which we... We're not really interested in. I think the part that makes or the fact that it probably would have meant a lot more to me if I knew them from the previous movies, which is why I'm saying again, in order to appreciate this movie, your ass is going to have to watch everything that Katniss Everdeen ever did to those guys and why and learn all their names because I'm thinking it's going to be important for this one as well. And... I think, uh, what else did we not cover? So, after we realized that, uh, yeah, they've brought all the district people into one place, which is practically a zoo, uh, Snow comes in to feed his champion, and, uh, someone else gets killed, but we don't really care about her, so fuck her. Uh, yeah, the person who kills her was one from the district, also dies as well. So we're like seeing a lot of crazy shit going on. Now we, I'm going to skip all the parts that has <laughs> detailed instructions of how she's going to kill everyone. Because they just turn into like uh, savage beasts that feast on the flesh of man. And we get to the part where uh, Snow is consistently losing his sense of humanity with every lesson that he's getting from the hunger games and uh even when he gets to the point that he gets the girl that he at first just wanted to free to now wanting to like uh bang uh he gets to this point where killing people to solve the problem no longer seems like the worst crime in the world as long as it's to protect those you love and that essentially becomes his main character trope and uh we get to find out that he's actually comfortable with it now and doesn't argue with that sense anymore. And, uh, yeah, uh, the chick that used to like him loses interest because she's now afraid of him and now he's a crazy psychopath who is going to take control of the entire capital and ruin the world. I think that's, that's, that's about it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I mean, listening. I hope you guys have a great and fantastic day. 
बाय